want to thank y'all for supporting my channel. If you don't know the name by now, it's Tink Marche. And in my essence voice, this needs to be studied. Ariane Curry and Martel Holt needs to be studied. January 30th on yesterday, Tuesday, Mel and Martel was to be in court because as exposed on the Tasha K interview, Martel stated that Mel was dragging him to court to um, fight for the right to have her kids on social media. I find it so interesting that Mel is having to drag Martel to court to be able to have the Eminem kids on social media when we know that Ariane Curry recently created a TikTok and used the Eminem kids as content. Also on yesterday, Straight No Chaser decided to go live. And she exposed a lot of stuff about Martel Holt and Ariane Curry's relationship. Some things we already had an inkling about, she just confirmed it for us. And then some things I was not expecting. So let's get into it. So if y'all don't know, Ariane Curry was outed by Funky Dineva, who was coined the nickname Coleslaw by Funky Dineva. But what Straight No Chaser revealed yesterday is that Ariane Curry don't even have the confidence of picking up the phone and calling these bloggers herself when she's ready to talk. So she has Martel Holt doing it for her. Why is this important? It's important because on many occasions, I've personally seen Slurry have a whole meltdown on live and says things like Mel is the reason why these people are attacking her. Mel is the reason why her name is out there and she was exposed when it was Martell and her all alone. It's not you airing people all the way out. Girl, I don't give a fuck about these people. Understand that, never be it. I'm the topic of conversation. My name stays in everybody's mouth. I don't give a two, like, I promise you I don't, sweetheart. I promise you I don't. I want to say your name. Come over here. <laughs> Everything said in this video is my own opinions, thoughts, and viewpoints. I, as a content creator, is covered by the copyright law to be able to use Instagram Lives, video footage used to conduct this research that we're getting ready to get into today. In the beginning, I knew that this woman was being manipulated by this man. He often says, I think she said that she was 24 when she met Martel, and he's 10 years older than her. And although he pressured, harassed, stalked, allegedly, Ariane on a on a constant basis. She continued to stick around for 10 years. Now, while Martel sat for two hours talking to Tasha K about how abusive Mel has been with him, leaking her personal information, her address, her financial records. So the videos that we've seen go viral of Mel swinging a bat. Although Ariane is very afraid, there are some victims that has approached Straight No Chaser saying that they accuse Martel of the unthinkable great. There was a point in the interview that he did with Mark. There was a point in the interview with Tasha K where Martel stated that he did not stay with Ariane, but he kept insisting that she had duties. We know the Eminem kids is one of the duties that she has to uphold in her arrangement with him. Could it be that you're also demanding that she do certain acts with you as well? Grape is very serious, as we all know. But Straight No Chaser insisted that she had receipt. We hadn't even touched on Chris Fletcher and Marceau and Letitia yet, but we'll get there. Martel Holt and Ariane Curry's relationship is odd to me. Know that Mel has stated that Martel has said to her verbally if she and Martel did not stay together, that he would not be with Ariane. And that is seemingly true because in the Tasha K interview, Martel stated that he only has one family and he only have five kids. Well, we know that Paris has two of her own with your four would make, would make six, but he only claims five because he don't see Paris as his own. But that's your woman. Double down on that by saying that Paris has her own father, which leads me to believe that Martel has a problem with Ariane's baby's father. And so he punishes that little girl by saying little stuff like that online. So wait, she can't talk to anybody. She can't break up with you. She can't be around your friends but she has responsibilities to you. You pay all of her bills. She helped take care of the M&M kids and you only take care of your son. Publicly, she is supposed to keep you guarded and safe, protect you, protect your image. But you can't even buy her daughter a jacket. There was a TikTok floating around with Ariane Curry shopping for the M&M kids. And we know she was shopping for them because she said their names several times. And they're saying that in that clip, Ariane Curry goes to the counter. She's getting ready to pay. And she looks over at Martel and asks him, 
did Paris get her jacket? He said no. Although Martel continues to say that she's a good parent and Straight No Chaser also said the same thing, that she loves her kids. And this is the same guy that wants to push the narrative that he's a great father to his own children. You can't even fake like you're a father figure for Paris. I mean, this is the same guy who also stated that he got his special education degree or he went to school to teach special education because he loved children. But the woman you said that you loved oh so much, the woman you stated gives you everything that you need. This is the same woman you left your family for. You can't see her child as yours? Interesting. And let's talk about Martel telling everybody, including Arion, that own network don't show his real life. I am so sick of hearing that narrative coming from the both of them. It sounds a bit ridiculous because what is it that you've been doing for the last six or seven years that you've been on this show? I think that the acting, like everything has been good, has sizzled out. That's not working no more. So now it's let me pull the production is messing with my storyline card, right? Because I've been sitting here trying to figure out when, when did Martel think it was going to be okay for him to clock in? For the purpose of this video, I went back and watched a few lives that Ariane did. And I'm not even surprised by how she was acting. I'm really stunned at the fact that she really thinks she did nothing wrong throughout the course of the 10 years that she's been fooling with this married man. I honestly feel like she thought that she was going to be received differently in the public. And when she wasn't, she was disappointed. The same way that people rally around Mel, I think that Ariane figured the same thing was going to happen to her. But when that did not happen, then she started to lash out at Mary women, Carlos King, Oprah, instead of the very person that put her in this position in the first place, which is Martel. A, AKA Straight No Chaser, stated that Martel was controlling the finances. She said something to the effect that Martel don't give Ariane a lump sum of money, that he only give her enough. Essentially, he is abusing her financially is what I got from it. These are the same folks that don't believe in nine to fives. They think that people that work nine to fives are goofies. She wants financial stability because not only is her family not fooling with her per nay's word, she said that the family don't want to hear from Ariane because she constantly talks about Martel, but she don't leave him. So instead of using her own platform, rubbing shoulders with other people, networking, building up her boutique, she, she wants to be a part of this cast. And I get the feeling because her baby's father is a part of the EP of Love and Marriage Huntsville that she feel like she can slide in through the back door and step all over Melody to do so. And that's just not how it's going to work. Per Carlos King's words, everybody has to make a vote. Apparently, everybody is voting against you being on this show. So although Martel is making time to come see Knox every day, I feel like when he has the Eminem kids, he drops them off to Ariane, acts as if he was with the kids for the whole seven days, and then send them back to Mel as if he was parenting his kids. I don't believe he's sitting with those kids for the whole seven days, but I digress. Although that's a part of his real life, that doesn't mean that we want to see that. If we're not able to see the Eminem kids... What makes you think we want to see not? I mean, how would that even be fair? I'm already trying to figure out why Stormy feel it's necessary that she introduce her family to the show. Now y'all want us to get used to Knox. Same baby that Martel was embarrassed to tell his kids about. The same child he was getting ready to disown and just pay child support if it meant that he had Mel in his life. Because if it wasn't for Mel divorcing Martel, I don't even think he would be as involved with Knox as he is today. I just don't understand it. On one hand, it feels as though the blogger is trying to air Arion out. And then on the second hand, it feels as though you're trying to side with them in some type of way. So I can see how people feel like you're still engaging with Arion in some type of way. Because do you like her or do you not? I'm just not quite sure where the relationship between the blogger and Arion stands. It's kind of blurred. Because how can you say that it would be spiteful for Arion to appear on the show and her son to to appear on a show that Mel and Martel created. On the other hand, say that that's his real life and that's something that needs to be shown. We've all established at this point that Ariane is not capable of handling the pressure of the public. She can't even go live and handle the criticism of the audience of her own Instagram live. So I would see that as a liability if I was over the production. Much like how Martel became a liability for Carlos King, Melody, Wanda, Neil, 
and sometimes Marceau. Let's teeter with the idea of Arion and Knox coming on the show, right? Let's play devil's advocate. Even though there's like a ton of petitions to get Martel removed, let's just say they let Arion on the show. Let's just say Arion is a part of his storyline. Will he be willing to show us him stalking her? Because you guys have confirmed that he stalks her, right? Stalked her so much so that she had to report to her apartments to not allow him through the gate. And he constantly calls when things are not going his way, essentially harassing Arion. Will we be able to see that? I mean, maybe I'm missing something, but I feel like Arion feels, because Martell is the EP of the show, that she has a right to be on this show. Even if he had that right, what would you guys be showing us? Even living together. Why would we want to Why would we want to see him picking up Knox and dropping Knox off? As I stated before, we've gotten used to the Eminem kids. We can't even see them on the TV. We're supporting their businesses. We want to see their faces. I don't understand why is it so difficult for y'all to understand that. And I know and heard that Martel was trying to strong arm the production of Love and Mary Chinesville. Was it production or, or the executives? Well, he was trying to leave pressure them. Well, I don't even remember what exactly how the context was, but I know that he was trying to get Ariane a $1 million contract. At least that's what's been said. And Arion confirmed that one of the producers was willing to slide Knox into the show and her to spite Mel. So this is attempt number two. From my understanding, Martel may not even have but a I job. I agree. His real life needs to be shown. I want to see the behind footage of him plotting and scheming. I want them to break the fourth wall on that. Show us how many calls he makes a day to plot and plan throwing his children's mother under the bus. I also want to hear how he finessed the bloggers to make them believe he's a great father, as well as how he truly blames Ariane for where he is in life right now. One more thing. I want a bird's eye view on how he conduct these harassing phone calls for sure. Like, I really want to see what his process is on that. Because we know that Ariane released some text messages, well, some records of him calling her over 50 times. Are we going to see that? The way Zeus set up their scenes, all you guys have to do is go invest into some cameras, a backdrop, and a tripod. And you guys can literally film your own life. <laughs> Getting back to my notes. Nay, the blogger, she stated that at one point she was in communications with everybody from the show, Letitia, Marceau, Maurice, I don't think she said Kimmy's name, but she had con connections with them at one point. Stated that she had a relationship with Letitia, but Letitia became upset when she started covering the mistresses that Marceau supposedly had. It feels like half these women that were coming forward was telling the truth because the picture of Marceau's back came out. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, it's another content creator saying the same thing. I don't know if this is true, so I do have to say alleged, but she said that there was a woman that came forth and told her about her relationship with Marceau and said that she had a relationship with him since 2022 or 2020. All I know is the relationship recently ended in the beginning of 2023. Said that Marceau makes his side pieces sign NDAs. This is the reason why the women won't come forth because they're under a NDA and he pays them five to ten thousand dollars a month i mean this is coming from a content creator so y'all grain of salt the reason why she wanted to talk to this specific blogger is because marceau was upset with her because she got pregnant by her husband again grain of salt the only reason why i'm talking about that specific content creator the one that i can't remember her name for nothing in the world right now but the reason why i'm bringing her up is because nay stated that in black, there is a back room, which we all keep hearing about. That's where they go to have fun, specifically with these side pieces. Nay is saying she got this information from Ariane, y'all. Keep hearing that at some point, Martel planned to air out Marceau and Maurice. And I'm just waiting on it. Even though he stated on Tasha K's interview that he has Maurice and Marceau's back, I truly feel like he is leaking some of this information to the blogger. Everybody was mad at Kiki for talking to a blogger. I understand that she didn't talk to the best blogger you know in town but everybody has a blogger friend y'all on this show i'm not saying i'm one of them but everybody has one now mind y'all while all this is dropping on the internet i believe they're filming for season seven right now so that leticia does know that her husband cheats she just choose to turn the other way and not talk about it on the show so they drum up these storylines as we already know since they won't talk about their real life on the show, I'm going to assume that every rumor that they don't discuss on the show is true. But yeah, I don't see 
anytime soon. I don't see Ariane coming on this show. Carlos King has already confirmed that that's not happening. Even if it was to happen, I think Mel would be long gone. I'm sure we will see in the upcoming season her premiering her new show on Nubian Network. I really hope to get another book for Mel. That's just a thought, though. Because the only book that's posted on Amazon is Martell and Mel. Yeah. So I would love to see another book from her, like a self-titled book. More about her life after divorce. I think that would be awesome. Let me make sure I got it all out. That's it for now. But I do find it interesting with all of this that's happening. The moment that Martell was arrested, we heard from Marcel, right? After that, nothing. They have not commented unless they're under fake pages because they did confirm that they're under bot accounts and she know exactly what accounts their um their the names are under. Martel, Maurice them, how they troll people and say nasty things. She says that they do that often. I knew it. I've had a few comments myself. By the way, I do have some old commentary on Letitia and how I felt about her at towards the end of part three of the reunion. If you want to hear about it, let me know. My final thoughts, I think that Martell is going to lose it all. Because in my opinion, I feel like Martell is a person of habit. And at some point, he's going to take it too far with Ariane. Now, it took me two days to gather this video for y'all so that I can review it properly, edit it properly. So if you could give it a thumbs up, share it and subscribe to the channel for more. Next, we have to talk about Bell Collective. Selena recently told her side to her story with JJ. We also have to review what Lexi had to say about Chris Fletcher. We have commentary about TD Jakes as well. If you enjoyed this content and you want to donate to the channel, definitely donate to Cash App Tink Marche or you can send a super chat. And if you want to donate but just can't, make sure you comment. That's enough for me. See y'all in the comments, okay? Warning. Warning. Warning.